David from Dextor here. Just want to do a little video about some cable rail products that we are selling. And uh, if you don't know this, uh, here at Dextor, I've uh, made it a point to be very good at cable rail, which can be a very confusing product to install and uh, has become incredibly popular over the years. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Atlantis Rail and uh, specifically two of their product groups, uh, one of them called Handy Swedge and the other called Atlantis Rail Easy. And also I'm going to draw some similarities to another product line we sell here called Feeny Cable Rail, uh, which I've done a video about Feeny before. And, and one of the neat things about Feeny is they create a kit system that's uh, sold in cable lengths with, a, uh, with some of the fittings already installed on the cable itself and uh, quick connect fittings that go on the opposite end of the cable. So if you are interested in Feeny Cable Rail, uh, please go back and find that video, take a look, and uh, or send me emails or questions and I can help you guys with that. But for today I'm going to talk about Handy Swedge and Rail Easy, uh, two different systems from Atlantis. And if you want to check out their website, they're at atlantisrail.com. Uh, just like the lost city of Atlantis, but it, the, the cable rail is not lost here. So first I'm going to start out with uh, Rail Easy, which is a pretty simple system. And here in my brochure which if you want one of these brochures come by the shop and I'll give you one uh, it's also information that's available online on our website too and you can buy these products on DextorSC.com if you uh, can't make it to the shop so uh, in, the, in the real easy catalog you'll see there's a lot of different fittings and parts uh, that can be a little overwhelming and I'm here to help you out with that stuff to uh, keep you from getting overly confused but basically the way that uh, the Rail Easy product is sold is in boxes of 10 fittings and you have two different types of fittings. Okay, they look kind of like this. And what's neat about these is these actually do the screw to the post and you get a, a tensioner in. So if you'll see here, this one has a little uh, shaft that comes out that is threaded. So this, this is the one you use to tighten your cable up. And then on the opposite end of the cable run, there's a swivel end which looks just like this. It's a little bit shorter and doesn't have this threaded part so that it uh, just kind of a dummy end that holds the cable and allows it to turn so that you can tension it up from this end. Uh, what's great about Rail Easy is you don't need any special tools or anything to install it other than some wrenches, which I do sell the wrench set. So you did everything that you need to install the system basically in this bag and then you need a drill to uh, uh, put the screws in. But I've got a little piece of uh, 4x4 post here just to give you an idea or an example of how this stuff installs. So the Rail Easy system is going to be a flush mount uh, part that just screws into the post. Now you, if you've got posts that are you know six feet apart all the way through your deck and you don't want to drill all the way through them, this is a great product because you can literally just install it section to section on each side of each post and not have to drill all the way through a post. The other thing you can do is if you got, say, a line that's uh, 30 feet long and there's four posts in, in, in the middle of that, you can install these fittings on each end of that run and then through drill these and save a lot of money by not having to buy additional fittings. So the, the, the way these install, basically, you get, the, you get the fitting itself, you get screws that go into the post, and what's really wicked about these is they, uh, they swivel. So if you have 45 degree angles, or you're doing stairs, this guy will actually pivot for you and make it easy to make those angles without having to do a lot of uh, crazy hole drilling and stuff like that. And here on this end, you'll see this is a compression fitting. So the way this guy works is, and rather than this one having to be swedged on, you just literally will stick the cable in the end and crank it down and that'll actually hold the cable in place without having to use any kind of special tools and stuff. So that's real easy, we sell it here. And then the other one I'm going to talk about now is Handy Swedge. So let me get to that page in my book. So Handy Swedge is pretty wicked because you can uh, save a lot of money if you're able to uh, cut and install cable on site. And you use this, uh, this giant tool here. This is a swedging tool. Okay, and what it is is a crimper, kind of like a wire crimper, but for stainless steel fittings. And as you make your cable runs, you'll use all the different individual fittings that they make. You'll put the cable in and you'll use the tool to crimp it and uh, swedge it in place. So you can make up your cables in the lengths that you need at the job site. So they sell the uh, long stud. That's what this one is. It's a real long piece. We use this for real big posts like six by sixes and stuff like that where you need to get all the way through a larger post. 
and then the more standard regular stud this guy here this is useful in four by fours or uh, any kind of sizes like that and once you've uh, made up all your cables you put this like say on each end of a cable run you put one of these on each end you crimp it down and then you get your nut set which there's a bunch of different ones you can get these are the regular acorn nuts and then they have a uh, like a nice stainless steel cap finish one uh, they have them in colors too like black and white and bronze if you're doing a metal post system where you just want the uh, the look of the the color rather than the stainless on the ends they also make this one here called a lag stud that one goes into uh, like a, a wall if you got a, a a post right up against the wall it's a wood post you can't get to the back side of it you can screw these into the wall and then uh, go ahead and swedge those cables into that fitting and then finally this one here this is a little uh, uh, like a beveled washer so that way you can use the lag studs on a staircase and put in the washer so you get everything to line up at the right angle based on the stair direction so there's also some additional tools we got the cutters that you need to cut the rail and guys look it's really important that when you're working with cable rail especially if you're going to be swedging, swedging these fittings you need that cable cut to be real clean you know you can't just use a pair of uh, diagonal cutters or a, uh, a, a grinding wheel or something like that to cut this stuff off because if you mess up the end of that cable it's not going to properly fit into the fitting and it's going to make things a lot harder for you so we always recommend that you buy the cutters that we sell along with the cable products because they're designed specially to cut cable like this so that's something you want to keep in mind on the handy sledge you can buy 100 foot and 200 foot uh, 250 foot rolls of cable and uh, get all that stuff so it's a, it's a great system to install it makes it a lot easier to install cable rail you will have to drill out some uh, posts if you go this direction you got to drill all the way through those posts but it saves you a ton of money if you're able to use handy swedge instead of some of the other systems that are available out of the market so like i said you can buy those on our website it's dextorsc.com you can email me if you got questions at sales at dextorsc.com or give us a call 864-963-3325. That's 864-963-DEC. I'm David from Dextor. Thanks for watching.